Greetings my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I've got another instalment of underrated albums for you. An album that I feel doesn't get the love and appreciation that it deserves. And if you haven't heard it, it's an album that you should absolutely check out. It's well worth your time. So today's band and album concerns one of my favourite thrash metal bands of all time. American band that have been overlooked and neglected, certainly kept outside of that big four of thrash metal thing that just limits and, and is supposed to define the biggest and best acts of American thrash metal, but neglects so many killer bands. One of which is these guys. This is Testament. If you're not familiar with Testament, then you need to make yourself acquainted because Testament are one of those bands that have had a very up and down career, very, very different at times. They've, they've sort of changed style dramatically and then changed it again a few years later. But they're one of those bands that's always delivered. Even though they've been through some rough patches, they've had lineup changes, they've broken up and got back together, they've always delivered on those albums. And those first few albums, the likes of The Legacy, and the New Order, even Practice What You Preach, Souls of Black, did classic thrash albums, defining thrash metal albums with that distinctive American thrash sound. Although, in my opinion, they were always a little bit heavier, a little bit more extreme, closer to Slayer than they were to Anthrax, shall we say, or closer to Overkill than they were to Megadeth. Not to discredit any of those bands, but I think Testament always had a heavier edge to them. And this album, this is The Gathering. This was an interesting album because it is notably heavier and more extreme than a lot of their previous albums. They had released an album uh, called The Ritual, I believe back in the 90s, it might have been the late 80s, but it was an album that was as compared to the very thrashy previous albums, it was a lot more of a traditional heavy metal album. It took away a lot of the speed and a lot of the aggression, but it was still not a bad album at all. Some good songs there. We also had uh, Low a few years later, which was, again, it's an interesting album. It was quite different, quite underrated, a bit more of an abrasive edge to it. But compared to all of the predecessors, again, it was very different. We then had The Mighty Demonic, which was, for all intents and purposes, a death metal album. This album, in my opinion, this is a perfect bridge between what they were doing where they were trying a lot of death metal styles, certainly very heavy, thick, sludgy riffing, and they bridged it, that very aggressive sound, with what they were doing previously, a lot more thrash. So this is thrash mixed with a whole lot heavier sounds. And actually, this is an amazing album. I listened to it again recently. It never fails to blow my mind. We've got some really, really heavy stuff there. The album kicks off with DNR, Do Not Resuscitate. And that is a ripping, thrashing track. Chuck Billy delivers some absolutely nasty vocals on that track, really heavy. His gutturals, are as good as a lot of death metal front men, or better than, in fact. It does a great vocal performance, the riffs are absolutely ripping. And of course, we had a bit of a different lineup here, because we didn't have Alex Skolnak, classic guitarist of Testament, certainly an iconic guitarist and has a very signature sound, but here we still had Chuck Billy on vocals, we had Eric Peterson, and we had James Murphy on guitar. So James Murphy, a figure that's also a name that's also appeared in other heavy outfits in the this sort of metal world, in the extreme metal world. Uh, we had Steve DiGiorgio on bass and we had Slayer's resident Dave Lombardo out of the band by this point, of course, but Dave Lombardo on drums, who's recently come back, in fact, taking over from uh, Gene Hoagland, who left in recent years. So... He's back again, but this was the first and only album with Dave at the time, and he does an amazing, crushing drumming performance, but those two guitarists deliver. 
those huge, huge crunchy riffs throughout the whole album. Down for Life, another very heavy track. Uh, I'll pick out some, some personal favourites and just mention a few of these slightly different numbers. Um, True Believer has quite an interesting, different vibe to it. It's quite a menacing number at times, but we've got amazing vocal performance, we've got the huge riffs, plenty of chug, plenty of crunch, definitely a thrashing number. We've got Legions of the Dead, which is notably much heavier, much more of an extreme track. Uh, we've got Three Days in Darkness, which is an interesting song. Again, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of darkness into that track. There's a lot of dark elements there, but it's a very heavy song. It's just got a bit more of a melody to it, a little bit more of a bit more of a groove, shall we say? But it's certainly a bloody good song. Uh, Careful what you wish for, riding the snake. Good songs. Again, does not fail to deliver. Plenty of killer riffs. A little bit more of a of a groove in those tracks, should we say? A little bit less abrasive, face melting, thrashing. Certainly good heavy stuff though. Um, I sewn shut eyes rather and allegiance. Again, heavy heavy songs. Really good stuff. Close the album with a interesting but very memorable instrumental track called Hammer of the Gods, which is very heavy, very face ripping, neck busting material, but it's very, very good, very enjoyable stuff. So really, I would say, if I was gonna pick out a couple of tracks for you to check out, if you weren't yet convinced, I would say DNR, the opening track there, True Believer, most certainly, that is a killer track, uh, Legions of the Dead, and probably Allegiance. Those are some of my favorites, but Honestly, start to finish, this is a ripping album. It's only about 45 minutes long, but it's a heavy album. It's not quite as brutal as Demonic, not quite as original thrash as The New Order. But you know what? The Gathering, Testament, just does not disappoint. Heavy as hell. Solid lineup, solid musicianship, does not disappoint. So check it out. If you're not familiar with this album, make yourself acquainted. Are you familiar with The Gathering, Testament, Legends Are? What do you think of this album? Let me hear you. I'm very interested to know. But thank you for watching this underrated album show. Do feel free to like and subscribe as always. And check back soon for more reviews, recommendations, all things good and heavy. You take care, my friends. Stay heavy.